What is going on there, YouTube? I am Paul from Wing Gaming. We are back in City Skylines and we are growing fast. But we are losing money. Holy crap, we're losing lots of money. I can't afford this right now. I really can't afford this right now. But I did just see something that I think is really, really good. This tweet. Our vacation was extended. Could someone water the plants while we are gone? The key is in the flower pot on the porch. I like it that people feel so safe in the city that they will publicly share information like that and not worry about people breaking in and stealing all their stuff. I think that has a really good impression to be made. Anyway, to speed things up, I can't build anything, so people are just going to have to complain if they want more this or more that because I literally have zero money. And it's tempting to take a loan, but I don't really want to take a loan. I don't want to end up in that pool of debt. But I do believe once you get to like 1,500 or 1,600, you get another of those big sort of, you know, pop-up things where your city has now reached a new level, a new status. We got more tweets again. So what are people tweeting us? At Power Plant, the new energy meters encourage citizens to conserve electricity. Sorry. Benefits are almost instant. Hashtag energy, hashtag sustainability. Like it. Right. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. City is growing, it's growing, it's growing. Um, I'm not sure if it's at 1,500 or if it's any higher. And if it's higher, then I am just going to have to take a loan out because I'm losing money really quickly right now. And I can't afford to keep losing money like this. I need more, more commercial and more residential zones, like, majorly now. But we are losing less money as time goes on. The weekly income is, is increasing. Or it's the decrease in weekly income is increasing, or something like that. Okay, so it's not a 1,000, I'm going to have to take the loan. So, let's go into loans. I'm just going to take a small loan. Uh, or do we? We can take global credit. I'm going to take global credit because that's more, 66,000. And before I lose it all, I'm going to pause the game. Because otherwise I'm just going to lose all that money, like, almost instantaneously. And I will regret it. So, here. Up to here. To here. And I'm going to do the same again. Because I'm going to do a lot of building in this money I've just got. I want to expand to the point where I don't have to expand for a while with this loan. That's going to, I think that's going to save me a lot in the future. So down to there. And this comes along to that single zone line there. And down to there. Ish. Why don't we build it? Well, I'm going to have to build an angle. That's really annoying. I, I'm really annoyed that I actually put that angle in there, but it's done now, so there's nothing I can do about it, is there, really? Right, okay. Lots and lots of expansion work. And now I'm just going to let people sort of do their thing for a while. Um, so I have sped it up to the max, so we're just going to see what happens. I didn't actually spend that much money on, on roads, which is shocking, because it always seems... Especially when you're down with like 22, 23,000, it always seems like the the zones are getting really, uh, the money's going down really quickly. So I'm hoping that this expansion is going to start bringing, bringing a little more money back into the city. But I am quite doubtful right now. In fact, I'm very doubtful right now. But I like that the commercial zone is growing again. It doesn't look like this big bare space, which is very nice. It's, it's a good feeling to have. Um, new services. We've got parks and stuff now, haven't we? Yeah, see, we could do with a little park. Just, like, up over here, out of city limits. Or up over here. These only cost a 1,000 to build, so they're actually really cheap. So I'm going to build a park up over there. This can make people happy. And I'm going to build another park down over here. Just because they're fairly cheap and I want to keep people happy. Uh, happy citizens means happy me and happy life. And Well, in theory, at least. Uh, Right, another industrial zone, another area, uh, industrious little area, I really hate building industrial zones, and residential demand's increasing exponentially still, but we're making money, we're making good money, really good money at that, so, right, that's a single zone there, so that's coming to there, and then down to about yeah, is that the zone? 
Wait, that's his own there, so that's gonna come to there. See, that's that's annoying. Uh, I'm gonna have to delete one of these zones. I have to be shorter. But it's gonna be a nice big space of residential area for people to sort of live in and stuff like that. It's gonna have to go on a weird angle. I hate it. When you start building quite big, you have to start building weird angles. Um, just because of the way the roads come together. And I really hate having weird angles in my city. I mean, I think it probably makes it look a bit more natural, but I don't, I just don't like having them here, there. Also, I think I might need some more water over there now, too. Yeah, I need more water. Also, people are starting to complain about power now. So I'm hoping that that's not going to be a huge issue. We've got enough power. Oh my, we need more power. Again, I hate this. I hate that we constantly need more power. Right, another one of them in there. And now we should have loads of power. There we go. People aren't complaining anymore. But there's more demand for industrial again. And I'm not quite sure how the relationships work in time. I do know that when you build more industrial, you need more residential. When you build more commercial, you need more residential. Because the commercial needs people to buy things from them. And, and they, need to, uh, they need business. And they also need employees. And industrial needs employees. And, uh, and I know that industrial, more industrial means more commercial. Because... Uh, the industrial need to supply to someone so but I don't know exactly how the relationships work exact oh well, yeah exactly I don't know how they work exactly um, uh, because some of the relationships seem quite random as well um, so I'm not entirely sure I mean I just keep building and, and hoping the city grows and we need a name still we still need a name for our little industrious city So I'm not quite sure what to name. I was quite tempted to name it Volk City because I wanted it to be a dictatorship and uh, Volk means family in German. Um, I have named cities Volk City before because they were the dictatorship and they were under my ironclad leadership. But no, I think I think we need a, a more tame name than that and I'm really not sure what to name it. Anyway, 45,000 euro? Euro. I did call it Euro last time, didn't I? I'm sure I called it Euro last time. So we're actually we're doing really well now, and you know, I don't know how much of the loan I've repaid. Uh economy. Uh two hundred I paid ten weeks off, okay. It might take a while then. But it seems to have boosted our economy to a point where we're actually staying quite stable, even when we're spending quite a lot of money on different services and things um also when is because i'm i'm well over 2000 citizens now i want to know when the next sort of big uh event happens when we become something bigger we got lots of tweets coming in too at police office small um no not more that good morning everybody what a beautiful sunrise okay lovely yeah fine whatever i'm starting to get a little bit like cheesed off by the tweets just because they're kind of all the same and, and i want something different i want people to have I want to have some bit more realistic feedback because in real life they don't tweet you and go I really like this about the city and I really don't uh, I like that I mean they do a lot of what I really don't like that but they don't do many of those sort of this city's fantastic we live in the best city on earth d d councils don't get that it just doesn't happen it's not realistic so more residential I'm starting to build residential in bigger zones now. I think that's going to be a bit more effective, uh, cost effective because of uh, stuff. But I don't know about traffic. So I'm going to watch traffic for a while. I'm going to see what's going on. So there's lots of people parked inside the road. And I don't think you can build parking structures in this. Which is really, you know, we kind of need a little car park around here somewhere. Just to clear some these cars that are parked at the side of the road everywhere. <laughs> but this zone is, yeah. And also, sorry if I'm clearing my throat a lot. I, I am feeling. Uh, okay, Boomtown, we're bigger again. We are a booming town. Okay, so we now have... We can buy new areas, got public transport, some buses, and all industry specialization, and recycling and recreational use, and... Uh, oh, we now have cool intersections, too. I might actually have to build some of those. I really fancy those. I think they look the part. They really look the part. Also, I do believe you can pay these loans off early. So, yeah, so I can afford to pay this loan off now, but I'm not going to. I'm going to wait until we've got a lot of money, and then I can sort of say, okay, cool. Uh, we've got the money we're going to pay off that loan but not yet definitely not yet 
Also, I don't know why I need to relieve congestion at the moment. I feel like there's a little bit up here. I don't need really need to relieve congestion right here, because this is just local traffic, really. Um, I might need to release some congestion up here, so I might actually have to move this park down here and then put, like, something in here to release some congestion. I feel like these are actions I should have taken sooner, and it's really difficult to then plan out where you're going to put something that's going to sort of help you a bit. But I think I am going to put an intersection in here, so I'm actually going to move this park. Uh, move park. I'm actually going to move this park somewhere, like, down here. Which is going to mean cutting off a bit of power. But. Also, it doesn't matter the fact it's not been placed, but it is being placed on a roadside. That is a roadside there. Oh, I'll take it there. It doesn't mind it there. Are people still happy? Yeah, people, they, they're not so happy, but people don't mind. That's okay. I can, I can live with that because I want to put a, a roundabout in here somewhere. So, large roundabout, small roundabout. Just a little one. Just a tiddly little roundabout. I'm going to put it about here. Because this is going to be sort of the start of the next area-ish. We need more industrial zone. I seem, I seem to have a lot of demand for... The abandoned building? Where's the abandoned building? I don't see it. Oh, these haven't got any water. See, I, oh, this is the one thing I... <coughs> Sorry. One thing I keep forgetting is to give them water. Um, I should know this by now that you know you can't have a big industrial. You know, people are, uh, can't survive without the water. And it's a basic human right. I mean, kind of, I think. But so this is going to look a bit strange, but it's going there anyway. So yeah, now I'm just filling in gaps. Now that's my only option right over here because I don't want to expand the industrial zone up over here. So right now I am just filling in gaps in the industrial zone. I just gave you water. What's your problem? Do you need more water? No, there's loads of water. I've literally just given you water. What's your issue? Are they complaining now still? No, they stopped complaining. That's fine then. I think I might need to put more water though. No, it's actually it's covered. That's fine. Cool. Um, yeah, so I'm not quite sure how I'm going to connect up this roundabout. I think I'm going to put some big roads in. Some of these sort of roads, just coming from about here up to here, like this. Just purely for the sake of, like, proper development. So we're going to have some big, big roads. From here to here to here. Right, so this is just going to, yeah, it's going to allow a little bit better connection coming over here and it's hopefully going to relieve some congestion coming between the two areas. Are we running low on power again? My god, we're running so low on power. Ooh. Oh, we just unlocked the new power plant now. So these require water. So these actually have to be placed in the water, but they're quite effective and they produce a lot more power and they are more expensive that way they are. How much do they cost? 12,000, but they develop up to 20 megawatts and these develop up to 8 megawatts so they cost twice as much but they develop more than twice the amount of electricity so in theory it, it's more economically efficient uh right so uh, industry and offices do i have offices yet no i don't that's fine then so it is just demand for off for for uh industry but I'm actually, I'm not going to address the industry bit yet because I'm going to address the commercial because the industry is not going to thrive unless the commercial is there to support it. And there's not much commercial going on right now. So, I don't want that there. I'm going to take it from here. To about here. And right along to there. There we go. And if we put in more commercial zones. Lots and lots and lots and lots of commercial zones. It's all coming along. It's all happening. A bit of time. So the commercial's built. I'm now, I now want to build more industrial. And I'm really starting to struggle to know where to put this industrial area. Anyway, that's a good place to stop. So, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. It would really help. And I will see you in the next one.
Bye.